So those were a couple of bars from Jay-Z's Dynasty intro, Rock La Familia. The album was from the year 2000. So let's get started with these chords. Uh, the chords are fairly straightforward. You're going to be playing in the right hand uh, melody uh, basically three notes or five or four chords. So let's break down the bass hand, which is the left hand. So down here we're going to have F, F, C sharp and F, or you can just play the two uh, F sharps. So F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, and then the next chord is going to be E major, bass, E, B, and E, and then the D major chord, D, A, A, D, or optionally you can just play D and D. So walking down. F sharp, E, D, and then back to up to E, and then up to F again. And those are the chords that repeat throughout the song. So F sharp, E, D, D, E, F sharp, F sharp, E, D, D, E, F. That's all the left hand's going to be doing. And as I said, you can just play the optional F sharp, E, and D. D, E, and F sharp. Again, that's up to you and your uh, style of playing. If you want to play uh, the full chords, at the 1-3-1 one, one pattern, or if you want to play the standard octave, it's up to you. Sounds fine either way. So the pattern is practically F sharp, E major, and D major. So you're going from minor to major major. Back to minor. And the melody, which will be, I, I imagine, a dif difficult for some, some of the players out there. So let's break that down bit by bit. So what we're playing in the right hand is going to be simply F sharp, A, F sharp, A, B, A, and G sharp, and F sharp. So it's going to be a pattern of F sharp, A, and then once the change up occurs, which when we go to E major, we're going to go to the G sharp and walk down from B. So very slowly, F sharp, F sharp, and A. So the, the E major chord is simply going to be B, A, G, sharp, A. That's the change up in the middle of the melody. Everybody knows the riff if you heard the song. Do, 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 do. I can't sing, but that's the main riff. Do, 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 do. That's the change up, but the frantic melodic pace that you hear is going to be F sharp to A. So you play that sequence four times, and then on the fifth sequence, uh, you're going to play the B, A, G sharp, A. So sequence one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I'm sorry, I, mis I miscounted. Uh, on the sixth sequence, I'm, I apologize. Basically, on the sixth beat, you're going to switch it up. So that was the sixth beat I just did for you. I'm sorry. F sharp, A sharp, F sharp, A sharp, F sharp, A, B, A, G sharp, A, then back to the count. F sharp, A sharp, F sharp, 
H, A, F sharp, A, A, I'm sorry, B, A, G sharp, A. One more time. So that's the six speed I just did for you. And then we're down to seven. B, A, G sharp, A, and then back to the same cycle. So, the best way to think about it is I'm doing basically four sets. I'm doing three sets of F sharp, A, and then on the fourth set, I'm going to uh, B, A, G sharp, A. That's the last sequence, and then it starts over again. F sharp, A, F sharp, A, F sharp, A, B, A, G sharp, A, and back to the main sequence. So when we play that speed, it'll sound like... Now, that may be a little bit difficult for some of the brand new players out there, but all it takes is practice. You can play with the track, and uh, you'll have that melody down in no time. It's simply a broken chord that you're playing, or uh, it's a chord in an arpeggio style, so that means it's having movements back and forth. It's a very, very uh, basic piece in piano music, or music in general. So you have that down. Now we're going to just add in the bass hand, and I'll go in real slow and show everybody what I'm doing on the right hand and the left hand combined. So when we're playing F sharp, and right now we're going down, when I make the change over to the bass hand of E, I'm going to play that note of B, A, G sharp, A. And then I'm going back to the uh, F sharp chord, or I'm going back to the D major chord and the F sharp note in the right hand, F sharp A. So the only change I'm doing in the left hand is going to be the E major bass, and at the same time I'm walking down. So every time you play this E in the left hand, you're going to walk down. And then back to the F. And then when you walk back up, which may be tricky for people, I'm walking back up to the E major chord again. So very slowly, both hands together. So those are the chords, uh, we played it very slow, and uh, the pattern is basically the change up is going to happen on the E major chord, because when we break it down, we're playing right here, so we're, we're, we're kind of playing an E major chord right here. A. You know, basically it's the E, E, 6 chord right here. I'm oh, sorry, E4. Let's just spin fourth right here. So it's B, A, G sharp, and A. And then down to D. Now, if you're having trouble playing 
it at regular speed or with the chords in the right hand, you can just play regular F sharp minor chord. And then down to the E major. So F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, A, C sharp, F sharp, F sharp minor, E major, E, B, E, G sharp, B, E, and then back to uh, D major, D, A, D, A, C sharp, F sharp, uh, D major 7th, and then back up to uh, E major, and then F sharp minor. So if you have problems with that, you can make it sound a little bit more classical and go in on and you can mix around and add your own elements to it. Now that's it for this tutorial, Dynasty. And uh, thank you for watching.